Привет, товарищи! Welcome back to my Marcy Sky. I've remodeled and cleaned up this place. Uh, one day maybe I'll do a tour for you guys. But today I'm going to show you how to make a medieval mini catapult. This thing, even though it's an ancient design, it's still very practical. Practical. Still very practical. If you make it big enough, it will become old-fashioned artillery. Okay, let me show you how to make it. The first thing that we're going to need is 22 rubber bands, 20 popsicle sticks. Make sure you don't eat all that ice cream by yourself. Invite some friends. One plastic spoon, two paper clips, and eight clothespin hangers. The first thing that you guys want to build is this box frame. You add one more arm here, but it's going to look essentially like this. Then your legs should look like this. Then you just simply attach it to the bottom. Like so. Very simple, nothing to it. The finished product should look like this. Use different kind of rubber bands for an increased velocity, up to your choice. I got some nice gravel that we can go and shoot. Wow. 15 feet guys, 15 feet on average. Actually slightly more, but 15 to be safe. How fun and interesting was this? This little miniature medieval uh, mini catapult. Uh, it's just loads of fun. You can build it with household items. Uh, I'm sure everybody has popsicle sticks and close uh, pin hangers. If not, they can probably go get it at a local office store. It's probably less than $5 into this whole thing. And I can still go and build another one. You can also weaponize this and turn it into an early proximity device. Uh, meaning, you know, if you're camping somewhere and you, you, know, you don't want anybody to, you know, cross into your territory and you want to be warned if they do, simply just put a glow stick here and then use uh, a metal spoon perhaps, or uh, a metal rod. Have it pulled back, cocked back, have a trigger, have a trip line. So if, any, if anybody sets off your trip line, that metal spoon or rod breaks the glow stick. And you know, obviously you're gonna put this up in a tree somewhere so you can visibly see it from your location. But it'd be like an early warning device. And as always, go ahead and like this video, comment down below, a favorite, share this video, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Till next time.